What's up guys? It's your boy Hot Shot coming back with another video. Do you want to be a hot shot car hauler? Or do you want to be a hot shot? Or do you want to be a car hauler? But more importantly, do you want to know the reality of this situation? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the reality of trucking and it starts now. Let me give you a little bonus. This one doesn't count as the seven. I've broken down. I've been broke down three times this week. I was supposed to be home two days ago and I'm still in Iowa. Trucking can suck. I love trucking. I love hot shot trucking. I'm not gonna quit. But if you tell your old lady you're gonna be home Wednesday, you better hope she don't expect you to be home Wednesday. My nose until I cross that Delaware state line, oh, you never know what's gonna happen. So, now some women can't handle that. If they want you home, they want you home. That's the reality. The expectation is they think, if you say you're done Wednesday, you're done Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I'ma tell you, mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So, you better make sure mama knows the reality before you know the reality. But let's get into number one right now. Boop. What's up my hustlers? It's your boy Hatshop and we're back with another video. And this one, oh my lord, we gone cuckoo for cocoa puffs. The dog just knocks you all over. He went cuckoo for cocoa puffs. So, in this video, let's talk about reality. No, we don't live in reality. We're gonna talk about expectations versus reality. That's what we gonna talk about. Number one, your expectation of a truck driver or a broker or a dispatcher or a dispatcher is telling the truth. They lie. Truckers lie. Brokers lie. Dispatchers lie. I can't tell you how many times I've heard, I don't leave my house for no less than $5 a mile. Yeah, on 10 miles, you can't live off 50 bucks a day. Oh, or I, I, I get $10 a mile and I drive 25 miles you know if you're making under 500 a day i don't care what you get per mile because you ain't making enough money brokers lie dispatchers lie like so many truck drivers and i call this a lie and maybe they intentional or don't intentional they don't ever count their true miles I don't like that word deadhead because it's not a true deadhead. It's in all miles. Because it's not dead and it don't have a head. You get paid, you're just not loaded getting paid. So it's not a true deadhead. I don't know where that ever came from or why people are scared of it, but count your all miles. Oh, I got $1,500 on 500 miles. They forgot to tell you they had to deadhead 300 miles to get it. Sorry, the dog hit the camera. So, number one, expectation, they're telling the truth. Reality, they're lying, telling you what they think you want to hear makes them feel better. Number two, it's easy. All I do, I get in my truck and I drive. I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to deal with nothing. It's easy. I don't spend all day on the load board calling around for loads. I don't spend hours trying to figure out what's going on with my truck because I hear a weird noise. You know, I don't spend hours dealing with brokers or waiting on brokers or pick and drop and drive and going down dead end streets and now I gotta back my truck up 20 miles because they didn't tell me it was a dead end and Google Maps missed it. 
It's not easy out here. Not at all. Number three. Oh, this, you, your expectation of this one and reality, they're like 10 worlds apart. I'm a hot shot. I don't have to go to them, law, them laws. I don't need log books. I don't need DOT numbers. I don't need a pre-trip. You've got the same laws, rules, and regulations. So what gets me is people are like, oh, you're not a real trucker. But yet I pull out my license. I got the same license. I got the same log book. I got the same nonsense, the same BS they got. We are no different than true truck drivers. We are true truck drivers. But people think because we're hot shots that the reality of the situation is less because we're smaller. Because we're a pickup truck. Once you go for hire, you're not a pickup truck. You're a commercial vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's a bicycle. When you go boop, 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 it's a commercial vehicle. You need a logbook. You need a logbook on your bicycle. Yes, you do. I'm going to ride my donkey down the road, and he still needs, I still need a logbook for my donkey. Number four. Oh, number four. Your expectation is there's tons of money. Oh, he told me he made $5,000 this week. Did he tell you he spent $4,500 in fuel, maintenance, and food? No, no. The expectation of tons of money and rich overnight, the reality's not there. This is no different than any other job or business. It's just not. You have to love it. Yeah, we make good money. I'm not saying we don't make good money. We don't get rich. You can't work a year and not work no more. People think they're going to get into truck driving and it's going to cure all. All their bills are gone, all their problems are gone, everything, pew, just gone. I'm a trucker now making five G's a week. Oh, I'm a trucker now making a thousand dollars a week, done threw four G's out the window. It's what it is, it's the reality of the situation. You have got no, this is no BS. You've got truckers, can't afford to fix their truck. You've got truckers, can't afford a pack of cigarettes, can't afford to eat, can't afford to go home because Mama needs the money at home to take care of their kids, and their job is the supply for mom and the kids. Can't do it if they go home. It's a sad reality of a situation. Your wife misses your kids with you, miss you, and you can't afford to go home. Yeah, that's a reality right there. Hoo -hoo -hoo, number five. We're going to do seven, but here's number five. Oh, your little pickup truck and your trailer, that's cheaper to maintain. No, it ain't. I ain't no cheaper. The parts are cheaper, but they break twice as much. Semi gets brakes every 100,000 miles. I get them every 50. Cheaper, twice as much. Semi, a semi can go 200,000 200, miles on a tire. They're more expensive. I'm lucky if I get 60. I know somebody's gonna say, I got 94,000 miles on my tires. Superman! I'm just joking. No, but some tires do get better than others, but it doesn't matter. The reality of the situation is you put them on more than a semi. These trucks are no cheaper to maintain than a semi. It's not. In some instances, a semi is cheaper. Oh, but, but I got a. 100,000 mile warranty on a new truck. Cool. Cool story, bro. Last you 10 months. Okay, after 10 months, you're in my league now. Come on with it. And you're going to be singing a totally different tune. That lovebird's going to go. Here comes the crow. I ain't making no money no more. It's truck breaking me. That's going to die me. Told you so. Your equipment don't matter. I could get me a 1982 Ford F350 Dolly and just roll out. Hey, that was my, my expectation was I'm gonna get a 95 Ford F350 single cab 
I'm going to run for a year. I'm going to stack all this money in my pocket. <laughs> After about a month, she was, Susie said, Nope, you're going to work on me every two days. You're going to spend all that money right here with me. Your equipment matters. Just because there's 1988 semis out here, you can't do that with your pickup, guys. It, it's back. All right, so look at it this way. Back in the 1980s, 80,000 pounds was 80,000 pounds. Back in the 1980s, there was no pickup trucks hauling 40,000 pounds. They weren't doing it. So the truck wasn't made for that. But that semi was always made to pull 80,000 pounds. Think about it. Just, just thinking. I'm telling you, I'm getting over this, this big box here. It's killing me. Last but not least. I got a pickup truck, so I don't have no overhead because it's cheap. Ha 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 ha! Left your way all the way to the bank, baby, because you wrong. Your overhead is no cheaper. Your insurance is more expensive. Your fuel is the same price. Your repairs, oh, they're going to get you. It's probably about the same, unless you do it yourself. When you pull into an out-of-town shop with DOT numbers and a four hire with another city on it, you might as well just hand them the rope and get on your knees because they're going to hang you. That's what they do. They take advantage of us. You have high overhead. The In order to make money in this business, you have to minimize your cost. That means getting out there like old Dirty Dave and turning some wrenches. Dude, we've broken down three times this week. Y'all gonna say, ah, oh, your truck's junk. My truck's got 45,000 miles on an 08. It hasn't caused me an, a, a real issue. So, I'm cool. You know why? Because I know how to fix it. Because I got YouTube teach me how to fix it. YouTube taught me how to start my business. It can teach me how to fix my truck. He just gave us a nugget. I didn't think about that. No, but you thought to come here to learn how to truck though, didn't you? Why don't you come here to learn how to fix your truck? Hot Shot's getting ready to drop a bomb on you. I'm getting ready to drop a series of every repair I'm doing on this truck. I've got both so far. I've got you both. So. All right, guys. Now, mama's calling. That was seven. We've got to go. The reality of the situation is whether you're in a pickup truck, whether you're in a pickup truck, whether you're in a semi, whether you're on a bicycle or riding my mule, it's all the same. You're a trucker, you're a trucker, you're a trucker. But the more you limit yourself, the harder it is. That's a reality. Under 20, the expectation is under 26,000. Is easy peasy lemon squeezy, no CDL, no IFTA, no give me CDL, give me IFTA, because I need more money to cover my cost. It's your boy Hot Shot, we's out. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I enjoy you guys stopping by. If you wouldn't mind if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it so you know when we go live. Don't forget, hit the Hot Shot Dave store. And get in on the uh, giveaway we got going on. Hot uh, shot, Dave. We're out.